Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Company of Heroes 2. It's been a little while since we've casted this game. We're overdue, but we're happy to be here. And today we're bringing it back with a 4v4 team battle. It's, it's kind of like you, you go to a doctor's, right? And they're always running behind. But it's not like you just leave the doctor's surgery to just be like, oh, you know, like these guys are running like an hour late. I'm not having this. And you, and you just leave. It's like, you're going to stick around for that appointment. You know, it's a doctor and you, you need to see that person for reasons. You also Unless need to see Dr. us, even, even if we are running late. So, <laughs> Well, the name of this replay was 4v4 Epic Game, something like that. So we'll, we'll find out here, won't we? Um as Blake defiles my sound card and as I turn my volume down. So as our Wehrmacht, we have Ovi. Here he is. Ovi. Wait. Oh, no, sorry. No, he's an OKW. As the Wehrmacht, we have a guy in many Asian characters. We're calling him Faker. No, that's Gumi. Oh, no, yes. No, no wait, no, that's, that's Faker. Colors. Yes, that's Faker. Yeah. 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 Uh, this guy, Ovi, the OKW. Um, UV Mark is another Wehrmacht, and we have Gumiho here playing as OKW, okay, and this is a little bit different as Commando. There's, there's always been changes since we uh, we cast uh, Kotu. There's generally a break in between. Yeah, there are their allied opponents are uh, Andre, uh, USF, Alucard, USF. Oh, sorry, Soviets. Uh, that was the Soviets. Alucard was... Uh, I think you had yeah. it right. Yeah. No, I had it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting confused by faces, you know, because it's like... It's, it's, it's way too difficult to actually change the, the faces of commanders when you put it in, so God knows who you're looking at. Uh, so yeah, Andre and Alucard Zidane will be USF and ICARB coming in as our Soviets. Already a lot of action. It's a pretty big map, but this part of the map is so crucial because there's the VP and the munitions quite close to each other. These Stim Pioneers are having a field day here. Pathfinders in melee combat versus the Stim Pioneers. Not a good spot to be as for those Pathfinders, so they have to retreat. I would say it's hard to miss your sniper shots at close range, but it's also hard to dodge SMG bullets at close range, so... Eh. Not sold. Dude, if you, if you think it's hard to miss sniper shots at melee range, obviously you need to play more XCOM, because that hey. shit happens all the time. <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of stuff happening here. I mean, these Pathfinders also available at the start of the game. That's a new thing as well. This command got a little bit of a rework. Uh, pretty good offense so far, though. Has an MG42 and a mortar in position, so this is a really good position for them to hold. We can see that uh, both of these players on, on the, the top right side for the axes, they actually neglected the fuel and they went absolutely ham. Mm. So that'll delay the fuel a little bit here, but I think it's going to work out very well for them. This mortar can dislodge the maxim. Yeah, playing over this VP control is nice. Um, it's not an awful position to retake because there's not really cunty heavy cover on the, the victory point itself. It's just light cover. It's kind of hard to flank, but it's just light cover, which is good. And you have a couple of sandbag positions here that allow you to retake it quite easily. But as you say, uh, mortar are going to be getting some work in and uh, it's pretty a front line with uh, the addition of uh, these these Vols Grenadiers to the front lines, which just wouldn't have been possible but with going for this uh, uh, support weapon heavy Wehrmacht play style, yeah. so yeah, it's cool. I think it's only going to work though if they can get the munitions point, and mm. they haven't got it so far. The mortar has not been shelling at the maximum, but that's okay because there's another one on the way now. So, yeah, getting a raquette, and I think, to capture the fuel point, yeah. but and meanwhile, on this side... Wow, forward HQ, jeez. It's also been changed. Forward HQ, fighting pit. Allies are here for the long haul. Welcome to team games. Yep. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. As the medics there, actually. It's going to be healing up the, in the infantry. I'm actually really interested to see if this... Oh, we'll mention that in a sec. Um, Grains are actually going to be forcing this one. Uh, we've got a flame crowd in the backhand. That, that's going to be really good at forcing up any MGs that are in the back or any oh. low squads. Could be double Faust could be here. Double Faust. Not sure what the munition situation is like. Yeah, but double Faust, yeah. definitely. It's actually abandoned, but that can be finished off very easily. Oh, and there's a suppression as well onto the combat engineers. I just want to retreat. You just want to save the flamer in this situation. Almost a wipe on those riflemen. I'm really surprised that that clown card didn't just dive those vaults. Because they were very low and they didn't have any Fausts. Instead, they, they for some reason, <laughs> went straight past those Grenadiers. So that was definitely a really weird play to make. God. It's going to be really hard to recapture the scout card. I don't think it's going to be an option for our allies. The MG is covering it, and the thing's just going to blow up because the rear arm is facing towards the MG, so that's going to be an issue. Um, it's possible that the, the axes get it, but I doubt it. It's going to be hard to repair, and the Storm Pioneers are just coming back. 
I don't even know what this building is. Oh my god. <laughs> Clearly, it's a field camp. Oh, Look has at medics. the field camp. So, must be. If you select yeah. the field camp, you. Wanna... <laughs> yeah. So it's because this commander that he has. Yeah. So we, so they both have that commander yeah, urban urban defense. Story, so yeah. They can reinforce, heal, and inspire infantry. Yeah. Okay. Well, these riflemen may go down. Is this barrage though going to dislodge those vault grenadiers? There's a bit of snow up in the air. This is where everyone flames us with their like, oh my god, why you guys cast this game and didn't even play it. Speaking of new units, this is the 221 in fact. The call in for the um, Elite Armor Doctrine. I think it also can upgrade to, yeah here it is, to the, to the radio thing. So it's like a fuel cache that allows them to lock down a point. Or I guess the the Opal cargo truck would be a better comparison. Which was like what the PE had in Co. One. Right. Ooh. Wow. Rifle wipe. Really nice mortar shot there. Um, there are now a couple of mortars on the field for our uh, right side. Very much, Mr. Faker. He's got a, a couple of them rolling around. Couple Just really increases the white potential having two mortars. A couple of squads of Pathfinders there, so. I suspect we'll see bars go on them. They do scale very well with weapons. And we have some um, some PTRS penals here to counter this. Wow. Oh! Big yikes. That mortar one shot, jeez. Well, it still loses the scout car. It's still worth it for the infantry wipe, I would say. Yeah, that was filthy, because they were pretty spread out too, but they are actually quite wounded. First got a guards on the field here. Rondre. These are another sort of penals. Sorry, penals. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, I was looking for the other word that I was looking for. I'm like, guards do not look like this. Man. Sees PTRS icon, hits guard button. This commander has Good. shocks, has the uh, the AT gun, which will make going for the shocks actually a little easier. Um, and then it has the KV-2, and the KV-2 is really good. So this is a definitely a strong team game commander. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a surprise uh, we, we see this now twice. So we are going to have the shocks on. That's good. It'll be interesting to see how they they perform. I, I still I still feel early is the ideal time to go for shocks as soon as they're available. Need the the vent to make any use out of them. Well, they're on the field. It is a very open map. Could maybe see them start playing towards that central victory point and fuel. I was kind of I was kind of thinking the way the the maps the way the map's working is like it's a 2v2 but it'll be interesting to see if that turns into more of a team game style when you hit mid game and you start hitting medium tanks and you have more mobility whether the middle becomes a bit of a point of contention then um, and up until that point you just kind of play this, this 2v2 Ooh. style Ziff Barrage claims a kill on the the MG42 yeah this point has not been captured the entire time so the Stim Pioneers will probably get that one soon but they're currently just idle at the moment Looks like this position is, is really secure because of that forward HQ. Especially with the fighting position, means there's only a single point that it can be attacked from and it's just so easy to defend it. Another fighting position as well. These ones can fall pretty quickly, but at least the the position is going to have a lot of time. It's going to be very tough to break through. Nice rifle nade coming out from the Grens, they do go for the stationary squad. Shocks are on the flank, but that's not a great flank for them to go into. They're also going to get suppressed. Oh, the bunker. bunker. Wow, that's yeah. really nice. MG bunker at the back. MG bunker and a mortar. Can you so... use this, this uh, opportunity to push forward his Gumi Ho. I don't know how that's going to go, though. A couple of nades missing from the riflemen. Balls are pushing in, but they're, uh, they're without upgrades. No STGs. Mortar's going to be forced off. At least the forward position has been scattered, but not much more than that. Probably will force off another. Oh, that mortar is so low. Now these. Both the boss focusing it. These penals are reinforcing in the back lines here. <laughs> Somehow the mortar survives. Yeah. Okay, we have a scout car on the field, the 222. This gun, though, is in a great position. Our victory points 480 for the allies, 476 for the sorry for the opposite, 480 for our axis, 475 for the allies. 
not much action that direction, mainly due to the neutrality Ooh, of the central victory point. There's nothing nothing happened with that, so we had a quite a period of, of 1vp versus 1vp. Not a lot of movement in the first 10 minutes of the game. Even mortars Was can that just... a mortar versus mortar wipe? Or yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's two mortars there. Even the fighting position can get taken out pretty quickly, and the building eventually will go down because you can't repair it. Doesn't exactly survive past the early game. We do have riflemen grenades, but this MG is pretty spread out, so it won't be a wiper. Suppression comes through anyway. Still, the VP is actually held there by the Axis. Mm. There is the forward HQ uh, for the OKW, so it's not a full retreat for him, though it is for his Vermont companion. Not a bad opportunity to use the shock smoke and just look for a um, decap on that victory point. Certainly a possibility. Oh, it's Stuka. Lovely. Will it be dodged? Firing. Oh, I hit the Zis gun, yeah. didn't do much though. I guess it was kind of on the retreat path as well, so kind of see what that was going for. Okay, T70 is on the field, does get a wipe of the MG34. Faust will tag it, however. AP ammo is an option. The MG is not quite facing it, and it's quite wounded as well, but now it's backing through the arc. How about this? See if he toggles it. No, quite late with the, uh, the AP ammo. Still, it will take a while to kill it anyway. You would need some Faust follow-up combined with the AP ammo. I mean, there are, there are Grins on the field. There's this yeah. whole ball squad that's chasing down. It's worth using. You get a lot of veterancy from it, regardless. It's an odd play. Maybe prioritizing trying to get the suppression onto the allied squads that were capturing the VP. I and mean, they can just retake it now, anyway. Oh, Rangers. So... That's the, the Persian Commander Heavy White. Cavalry. Yeah, a lot of infantry went down there, so yeah, that T70 actually did really Even well for it. If he goes down to 27 pop cap, that's a, that's a big issue. There's another Vol squad going down, as well as his MG34, which we saw the, the T70 take out earlier. Down to, to not much. He's just soft retreating back to the forward HQ, which is clever. But another Stuka. Both OKWs have this tier 2. And let's see where it goes. Wow, that was good. Got the whole AT gun. Yeah. Almost got the engineers. Damaged the Stuka a little bit. Uh, that was a 50 cal fighting position as well. Yeah. But it can just blow up that building. Hmm. Then maybe you should have gone for that one directly. You can see that. Right there's the additional Stuka. Hopefully there's a bit of teamwork involved here and we see uh, we see our right side team maybe pull the Stuka over just to take out the forward HQ. I think he was trying Seems to set busy. I think he was trying to satchel the MG and <laughs> didn't get the satchel, let's just say. There isn't a lot of stuff here for the Axes. They may get overran because there is a lot of squads on the field. And the M8 howitzer carriage, they can dislodge those mortars and even wipe yeah, them. Yeah, that's a good choice. Second Stuka barrage. Dodging forward are our allies. That turns out to be the correct option. That was good, yeah. but uh, it was actually aimed at the, the MG as well. Oh, it needs to retreat these mortars. There's a retreat. We'll be in time for this right hand one. Yeah, it gets, gets a nice retreat path. So. AT guns walk into the riflemen and conscripts. Uh oh. Oh, better retreat with our IT gun. Yeah, completely pushed off by the Axis on the right-hand side. So I'll, I'll just take, I'll just tick, take the piss out of our kittens, and I'll tick that off the general German checklist for a cast. So. Did you watch that tightrope for kitten video? No, I didn't. It's so funny. Yes. So it's a trending. Right. I'll hold. have to check it out. I've been meaning to. I did see you post it, but I uh, know I've missed it. So. SC-76, also fantastic at dislodging these forward positions. Here's the second bunker we saw on this right-hand side. That's cool. That one will go down. Panzer headquarters being deployed. And the Opal Blitzstruck. So we have assault support. Good uh, abilities for the team games. The strafing run, the bombing. And he's actually using the strafing run yeah. here by the looks of it. Might get the shock squad. Ooh, oh. Pins it, but no damage. Yeah. Now it's being reinforced. I mean, like, you don't normally look at a strafer and be like, that'll pull something, but it's like the shocks were so low. The frag will also better blow up the building if the stupid yeah. doesn't. Munitions control isn't great from our axis, though, so that's going to be a problem. It is a big munition sink commander because the frags, like, the frags, hella expensive. Yeah. The, stra the strafing is just so spammable if you if you have the munitions. 
And they don't have any caches yet on the field. We see some fuel caches for the allies. Oh, that's a good Stuka. Yikes. Let's get the mortar. But that was about it. So actually, could have been a lot worse. Could have got the shocks, for example. Could have got the rangers. Or just, again, blown up the building. He's like forcing some manpower bleed. Uh, and that's nice. You can see, like, Umeo's caught back up in terms of population. Gap already back up to 53. Yeah, that one wasn't great either. The indirect fire still seems to be working for our axes to get squads back on the field. It's pushing again. It's a pretty big oh, commitment when you go double stuka like that and it just hasn't paid off yet. Yeah. So that's the main reason why the axes are behind. There's, there's no P4s in sight. And that's, they really need it right now against all this infantry. The SMG infantry just runs all over the Grens. Well, there is actually a P4 on the field now. That is from the, the Vermark, so uh, not having spent his tech. But we'll get tagged by a, a sticky satchel, so that's going to hurt. It's a fair bit of damage, but there's not really any follow-up on this side. All right, T-guns. Already a lot of additional anti-tank in terms of infantry-based. Yeah, there must be some tanks coming soon for the, the Axis. Yeah. Apart from the Allies, rather. Apart from that... T70, it's all we've seen, but T34 is an option. SU85 is also an option. Wow, whoa, flanking with this T70, that's not worth uh, it. Definitely not what you want to do here. But circle strafing, though? No. Yes? No? Either way, he just gets Fausted to death. No, not a good play at all. Mm. <laughs> if, if it was... If it was a... Oh, well, there's the, the M1, but he could, he could have done that regardless. Could have used the T70 in sight mode. But still, the M1 won't get it. He does miss the shot. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> not not a good play at all. Yeah, the, the timing was a bit off. I mean, I, I suppose if it was baiting with the M1, but even then, if the P4 backed out, it would have killed the T70 on retreat, so yeah. Baiting for a tank that has a damaged engine, not necessary. Just put it on recon mode and just hit, give the M1 yeah, sight. Yeah. But anyway, re uh, repairing this P4 may be a little tricky, and he's going to have to do it pretty soon, but another P4's on the field. Wow, that was a good shot. The Morty Shock Squad is a problem. Like, one of those should have been a, a Zis gun. The, uh, the T... I don't know if he has T2, but, like, T2 Switch would have been better than going for additional so squads of Shocks. Past the first one, it's just... There are too many MGs on the field for it to be... useful. Especially when... I don't understand why there isn't a Shock Squad just sitting on that central BP and holding it. So they will win any 1v1. Yeah, just like... Except against a Panzer IV. So that's that's a, that's a closer engagement. Yeah. I guess that they just expect there to be a HMG. Yeah. And, and and when you're on a map with such long retreat timers, yeah. when you have a valuable squad like that, it's often just not worth trying to do that. Of course, you know, we know there's no squad there. But I think most of the time you would expect there to be a HMG, HMG of some like kind. On that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, the Rangers are going in Rangers will find out I think I heard a Stuka. On. Yeah, here it is. Again. Yeah. Well, focus on this forward HQ. It's all about the wipes. I don't know, God knows how many times this mortar has gone down. <laughs> oh, we'll finally blow up. Nice. SU-85. Oh, so these P4s it. have been it's repaired. This SU has to be careful about just getting flanked. Two P4s can take it down very quickly. Very open map, but there's also pretty limited roads, which you know, the SU-85 wants to be on. Yeah, M1 is actually covering it. The P4s, do they commit to this one? They were a little hesitant there, so he may lose one of them. Down. P4 nice. falls. The other P4 still very indecisive. Uh oh, what is he going to do here? His, his pathing gets a little stuck. SU-85 is looking pretty good. Yeah, down it goes. Oh. That was, it just seemed like a clear case of indecisiveness. Yeah. If, he, if he fully committed to it, if he traded one for one, it would have been fine. It would have been great. Or if he just didn't go in at all, he would have been okay. I think he wasn't expecting there to be the M1, yeah. though it was revealed a while ago. So. You really can't change your mind when it comes to medium tank ties. Once you commit at full speed, it's just like, that's it, you're going for it. So, Regardless if you if you lose the tanks or not. Yeah, well, that's pretty costly for the Axes. They're down two tanks, and they need it because there's so many squ uh, strong squads. Only the HMGs can make up for that. Good to see our allies taking full advantage of that and trying to retake this, uh, this left side VP. Should be free. There should be a caddy coming up at some point, so that's going to make it much harder to rely on these HMGs. <laughs> a forward guess, fighting position. Yeah, I mean, 
I think there are still too many mortars on the field for that to be effective. It's a good spot for a 50 cal, but it's, oh. it's just too far forward. Well, the SU can't chase it because of the, the terrain. So the P4 should survive. But this P4 is in a risky spot. It's in front of an M1 and an SU-85. This is a terrible time to Aye. be a Panzer IV. Oh, my God. More like three of your Panzers. Now, don't make it fourth. This P4 has no, no, no. business no being here. It's very bad. There's uh, no driving into SU-85s. So you did not read your Panzer IV manual. It says right in there. This tank is not designed to deal with tank destroyers. Oh, do we have a howitzer? I'm not sure whose this is. Please ensure you take this vehicle to appropriate Krupp Steel <laughs> servicing centers. This is a much better assault from our allies. The ranges are more spread out. It's much more difficult for the MG to mass suppress. Wow, the and HMG, the off yeah, it didn't retarget the ranges, so that Rakenwerfer went down, had to retreat. That HMG, Volt's very late retreat here. That late retreat against double yeah. ranges is a bad idea. You went for the nade, which was not a good choice. This MG also isn't rephasing. Oh my god, this That's is also a, gonna go down. There's really so good many support weapons here. He also has an on me ability, so Yikes. even if there was suppression, uh, that could have been used to buy some time. So, no steals. Maybe the Echelon will get the steal on the Raketon. Yeah. M uh, yeah, yeah, the allies, yeah, well, mm, I'm really 50-50. The allies could do with some more AT, but like you could also do with an MG most of the time, so. Wow, once again, the satchel connects. It just may block the, the storm snow. Okay, I hear a caddy and I see three squads of grenadiers. <laughs> Goes for the mortar. Okay, so that wasn't as... Disastrous as it could have been for yeah, That was on the retreat path, so. Good sideways dodge from old Marco. We'll avoid the entirety of the caddy barrage. Well, the Rakatans are creeping up. Yep. Combined with I mean, the it's P4. against an MA Howitzer carriage, so it's just, eh, like, you're gonna get a shot oh, okay. off, and then they're gonna know you're there. Yeah, I thought he was gonna creep up closer. And double stealth or something? Yeah, yeah. well, it's still late response. That shot wasn't uh, connected. Yeah, just a couple of misses. Definitely could use hold fire to go further. Could be a, a kill, the Panzer IV. Could be oh, a wipe with the Pintle. Range. And the smoke! Yeah, those, because those house of carriages at Vel. Where Vel? Oh, yeah, that's what it was, the concealing smoke. Yeah, there must be a howitzer firing. Okay, here it is. Yeah. So what commander is... Oh, this commander here, the Blitzkrieg. Or German, rather, German mechanized. So he's got a howitzer and a command tank, so that's pretty good. Spot yeah. and scopes Spot as well. Too, yeah. It's the only howitzer for the whole game. No other commanders have it. There is a Sturm Tiger, however. Yeah. 174 VPs for our Axis. But the 446 of the Allies. In fact, Fairly commanding lead with the hold over the, both the, the right and left VPs. So Axis stay four oh. firm on the middle. It's about the only thing keeping them in this game. Whoa, Vet 3 Mortar goes down, but actually a Sturm Tiger fires. Didn't hit anything, however. And there's a Jackson on the field. Jackson and an SU. There's nothing else that sets your re ears ringing quite like a Sturm Tiger. <laughs> One day we should pay a lot of money to go somewhere and actually hear the thing fire, so. <laughs> I've seen a Sturm Tiger, however, it wasn't exactly in a condition to fire. And it was probably very illegal across, like, all of Europe. Like, you would fire it in Germany, it would violate, like, the domestic volume laws of Belgium. <laughs> okay, I think that was a wipe there. Whatever it was, it was effective. I thought it would have offended the... Don't... Don't suggest to neighboring countries that Germany is starting to use tanks again because <laughs> they get a little bit nervous every time that happens. Well, the Axis are starting to bleed the VPs. And the Rangers are once again on the field looking for blood, and they've found it. They've also found an MG, which is not firing for some reason. I think there's nades in range as well. Oh, no. No. 
Well, they're gonna walk up. Maybe not. Okay, I guess for the vaults instead. Oh, I guess that's a, you know, that's a unexpected. I dig unexpected days. I think the vaults are actually gonna survive this one, thankfully, for uh, video. Okay, there's nice pack covering the people's retreat. Oh, that one got the M1, so that's not bad. I still just think these Stukas haven't haven't exactly done what they needed to do, unfortunately. Mm. 20 kills, but not many wipes. Still, let's see how much these KV2s change the game. Yeah. It's going to make it so much harder for oh, the, the, the Axes. Nice. But Pershing on the field as well, so I think it's only getting worse for the Axes. This fuel cache is still giving more and more fuel, allowing these heavy tanks to enter the field, despite also having tier 4 tanks. And no... No munitions caches, no fuel caches at all for the Axis. The yeah, Axis can, can get it. Yeah. got a cost increase though. They're 250 now. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fuel caches at yeah. 250. Um, if the Axis can get a better forward position, like this is starting to get there. Like Pax and MGs, this kind of forward position, they can kind of fight over the victory point because they have um, they have anti repair in the form of their indirect fire. The anti repair is actually pretty good, which means like KB2s and Pershings, as you see there, that are getting tagged up, actually have to pull back a fair way to get repairs, which means they're not in a position while repairing to cover the central victory point. So in this situation, exactly what's happening now is the Axis can hopefully try and retake the middle, though currently being uh, countered by a bunch of Rangers and a Stuka. At least forcing off the, the, the heavy tanks on the front lines is a possibility. Oh, wow. Oh, this is not good. He, he keeps trying to throw those incendiary grenades yeah. against Thompson Rangers. It's just not worth it. Yeah. Like, the only time it's worth doing that is if it's the the infiltration grenades. Because you can get squad wipes with them. Don't lose the overs. My dude. Yeah, the squad preservation hasn't been great from Gumiho. Our OKW. There's a bit of engagement on the right-hand side as well. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? Wow, Raketten's sneaking up on this SU-85. Good catch. Down it goes. He will lose two, one Raketten, maybe a second one. I'd say well, Well, SU's on the chase against... Well, that pack just got decrewed by a caddy, so that would have been even more effective. Could have blown up the M1 and the Raketten to prevent them from being captured. Man, even this pack could get stolen just right now by this captain. Yeah, so that'll be good. That'll be a good trade-off as well. I mean, the, the double Raketten goes down, the SU-85 gets traded off, so you lose the veterans there, but picking up a pack oh. would be great. He's looking uh -oh. for this retreat path. Uh -oh. He's found it. <laughs> oh. He actually shot a little, yeah, a little low. It must have collided on some terrain, I think, right. or the building. Uh, no wipes, unfortunately. Because yeah. the, the, did the wooden blow up then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's probably the Ford HQ. Must have been still. I thought that was going to be a triple wipe and the Ford HQ going down. So yeah. Yeah. Can be a problem with the Stoom Tiger, as it can often get tagged by a tree, and then just waste a shot because of some scumbag tree yeah. soaks up the shot. Okay, the pack goes down. No, just kidding. It still has four models. So this SU is going to get the kill, get taken out here. Has its main gun destroyed? So the Ooh, P4 can chase it. Where's the Jackson? It's in position. Oh, Maybe a little too far back. There's no prioritized vehicles. There's M1 no Blitzkrieg reface. either. Oh, he misses the shot. He has to back M1 out reface. now. Enemies are swarming one of our yeah, a bit of a misplay there for both players. Yeah. Now, Tiger's on the field, but good luck against this Jackson. Still, if the Jackson goes too deep. Could get taken out very quickly, especially with the pack. Oh my god. What I want to know is where's guard mode for my AT guns? So you just had them on prioritize vehicles and they rotate themselves. Allied AT gun has been yeah, big yikes. Jackson okay, needs to there's going to be a Faust here too. Nope. Oh, no Faust. And I hear a caddy barrage. Oh, and the Grenadiers, it's deadly. Second one. Four dodge. Oh, oh well, it does not in time. Didn't matter. Marco's well, been pretty good at dodging those caddy barrages, but not today. Firms go down. So much bleed. These more shock models get dropped here. I can't believe they're both surviving on five models. It's nuts. Must have lost line of sight. The pack's been captured. Man, not blowing up those packs was definitely a blow for the allies. They should, should have done it while they had the chance. Is that caddy here, though? Yeah. Yeah. If it's going to do enough to stop the pack from refacing. It does. Pack gets wiped. Some more nice close range shots under these Vols Grenadiers as well. Oh, those are losing a bit of their hold on the right hand side of the map. Oh, this Tiger's so dead. This pack needs to set up. Yeah. SU, Pershing, Jackson. 
Just needs to be coordinated. Alucard needs to go in as well here. Certainly worth going in for. The Tiger is expensive. Even if he gets a pack, this is worth. A Pershing will just one shot one of the packs. Oh, well, let's see. One. Okay, that one's a little late to set up. Uh, where's the attack move? Pershing oh, that Jackson's uh, probably too far forward now, Eagles. though. Should have led with the Pershing. Still may get it regardless. Pershing connects, as does the Jackson. Down it goes. There is a red smoke coming down on this pack and the MG. The Jackson was destroyed. Did I see 85 get out? Yeah, yeah, it did. Oh man, that Vet 2 pack could have target weak point. It's always attack move those Alucard guns like is that. super. There's not vision here anymore. Alucard is so lucky that the Jackson's turret reface in time to kill the Tiger. That barely got the shot off. And that was Thunderbolt, so that yeah. won't do anything. Oh, I will if this Stream Tiger gets revealed. I think it was just a just in case the, the Tiger survived that to make yeah. sure it traded out. But Defensive strafing run? Okay. Sorry? Defensive strafing run didn't yeah. really do much. Yes, it was both, so... The allies are getting pushed back here on this right side. Somehow, Panther's on the field, and this is a really good spot to be a Panther and a bad spot to be a tank destroyer. Ambo as well could get sniped. Jackson's going that one first. going to scare him off. Though. Actually, a captain can flank around this one. Vision loss for the Panther. He's got one bazooka. Jackson still can't win this. I'm pretty sure. Jackson maybe gets one more shot. Alright, not enough rate of fire. Having the double howards and carriage there is, is stopping any infantry follow up, which is good to see. Yikes, Middle these still caddies. Oh for free my god, axis. what a blood bath. Oh my god, these Volks just marching Yikes. into their deaths. MG goes down as well. Oh! <laughs> Nothing more brutal than seeing a tank shell snipe a single model. Yeah. Well, I could think of more brutal things, like the caddies in this. <laughs> The Stuka Barrages. I tell you what, you wouldn't teach your kid how to, how to count using Gumiho's pop cap, because that, oh. that, that goes down way too quick. You'd be like, okay, it's a 70, 69, 53, 48. So kids would get real confused. Yeah, you, you may be more <laughs> effective with an abacus. That, that would be a better instrument for teaching little Jimmy how to count. Okay, Stoom Tiger on the hunt. Double packs are setting up. Alright, let's see. I think it'll get, get a good stun. one. Make it up to me, oh, Gilly Ho. Show good me the to shots. Me. Show me the well, shots. Well, maybe he'll dodge it, though. He gets a stun. Double They're both stun. stunned That's in front of the shot. packs. That's a real yeah, good shot. Yeah, one of them goes down. Another pack's moving up. Does he have the sight? He has the range. He's mo moving forward with Why? the SU. Whoops. And yeah, he, he lost line of sight there. Oh, he needed to chase after it with something. That was something. a good shot. Well, the, it was the vetted SU that went down. So that was yes, a good, yes, yes, yes. good play there. And Andre has no infantry left. He's got penals and an engineer squad. <laughs> when you have equal or more caddies than you have squads of infantry, <laughs> you know you're playing a team game. Thumbs up. <laughs> These caddies, though, have so many kills between them. Is that a howitzer? Oh, wow, wow, almost blew up the caddies. Yeah, it's real close. Hopefully he realizes, because it's rare you're actually watching these caddies, and you don't get a warning that artillery shelling those bad boys. It's gonna be a lot of scatter here, but there's there's every chance that one of the shots hits a caddy. Maybe even just wipe the echelon. Yeah. <laughs> it's max range, so you're gonna have shots all over the place. But oh, that almost. was close. Place your bets now. Which caddy goes down? Feels bad, man. Another great caddy barrage decimates their HMG line. Makes the rangers able to advance. No, caddies all survive it. And then another caddy barrage too, so it's not done just yet. Still so many support weapons. <laughs> Grenadiers have to dodge those 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 rockets. But the strafing runs deployed, so the rangers do get insta-pinned. These MGs are just pushing too far forward. They can't be covering the VP, they need to be covering the area near the VP. If they cover the VP, the caddy range is too deadly. If they play a little bit oh. further back, the caddy splits enough that you actually live. You can retreat through it. A nice convoy of tanks. He's got a P4 command tank covering a Stug and a Panther. Amber does get sniped, and there's more tanks. Whoa, Jackson on the flank. I don't know about the timing, though. Stug's facing down the road. He's chasing after this SU. There's a Jackson in a crazy spot here. as a triangle of tank destroyers 
This could be disastrous for the Panther. The SU's backing away. The Stug's on the hunt. misses. Yeah, the turret of the Panther's not facing where it needs to. It's two Jacksons down the road against a single Panther with the damage buff. He will have the Blitzkrieg available. Rocket strike. He's not going to use it. The P-47 is deployed. The Panther goes down. So does the SU, but these tanks are toast now. They're yeah, going to go down. Yeah, toast. Stug's going to fall. There's the destroyed engine. Nice block from the Jackson. That was an excellent collapse by our allies. Fantastic play. And so they're going to get a Stug out of this engagement too. Like, that'd be nice. Especially for the lost SU. I'd take that Stug. There was four tank destroyers. Three Jacksons and an SU. Oh, he blew up his own... Scumbag. Yeah, and then he almost blew up his own Jackson after that. Huh. Well, the Panther wants to get revenge. It may be successful given the health of these tanks. Yeah. Also, there's, the there's a squad armor. of Shreks behind him. There's like three, t three squads. I mean, the, the, the Panther's gonna get two past. Yeah, but look at the Shreks. Uh, I think it was cut off in the smoke. Wow. Jackson didn't know. Yeah, those Shreks oh, the made a massive off. damage. Uh, massive Shreks difference. are gonna get it. Oh, Whoa. just out of range. Oh no, this Wait. chases him. <laughs> Keep moving, Jackson. Right. This squad's low. I get triple, triple shots. Nice. I don't know about the Shrek still pushing forward here. So yeah. we had another volley off from the Jackson, at least keep it low. Okay, at least another trade off. One of the tank destroyers goes down. Still, it is a lot of AT. No KV2 yet for Andre. Mm. He actually has a anti-air half track. Worried about those planes. VP starting to even out. Middle still very quiet this game. <laughs> 800 munitions for Faker. Not many ways to spend on this commando, however. No. This is you can see the maybe... smoke bombs just getting thrown down randomly at every possible opportunity, so. Oh, command bunker, I love that. Yeah. Allows him to reinforce all these, these weapons. Yeah, that's where you just throw down mines at that point. Okay, where is he firing? Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen mine spam over the middle. Hasn't been an option yet. Maybe we'll see it later in the game. I only tend to work once until you get medium tanks on. They start just clearing them or, or minesweepers. But the first time, it does buy you some more time and buy you some more VPs. Oh, he's barraging cool. the same area with both houses. Everything's one shot. Strafe coming in. So pin onto the Rangers. I don't know if there's any follow up though. The MG can't. I don't know if the MG can get in a good enough position to follow this. There we go. That's better MG positioning. See that? You can dodge it. Well, can move. Up here. You're further away. He can't satchel this bunker because of the Panzer headquarters. Oh, he satchels the pack though. That'll do. Take it. And you can just blow it up with their PTRS. Yeah. Pack needs to back off too. Uh, this this pack's dead too. Both those packs are dead. Yeah, the Rangers are just gonna murder it. Storm Tiger ready to fire. Has his swag grenades. Storm Tiger has been revealed. Yeah, he went pretty far. See how the Rangers play this one. That was good. I think he just cancelled it. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can just blow up the Pershing. Should try it. He can recapture the pack as well. Free cancel. No, he's oh, there it is. Fire. Stuns nice. the Pershing. Direct hit. Tiger and the pack will needs to recruit that one. He can take that one down very quickly. Taking a lot of damage, though, on the Sturm Tiger. But the Tiger is going to get the killing blow here. Rear armor exposed. Bit yeah. of a funky movement there. But now the tank destroyers have run, arrived. Tiger, run. The Tiger is going to run for his dear life with a whole flock of tank destroyers on the chase. Tiger falls here. Let's see if they all get out of dodge. Well, they're going forward still, so... No, we will see one of them go down. Maybe it'd be worth throwing one of these SUs away to get the Stuka. Oh, the, yeah, the, well, the, the Stuka is actually what yes. he's aiming for. That would be great if he could snipe it. 44 kills. Can you see it? He's got a damage it. engine. Yeah, the fire may have blocked his line of sight. No, one go. shot's the Stuka, and now the SU is still Probably within range. Shots? Pack's moving in to try to blow this one up, but no attack move. Oh, don't back out. Go for it. Oh, my God. Oh, that is not how you micro pack. Now he's out of the arc already. It's probably gonna 
has survived with this Sturm Tiger though. Yeah, loses the vet to SU, so ends up actually not being too good of a trade. Yeah, it was very indecisive. I think it's it's good to to, to take the Stuka out, but um, yeah, just just dived in after the the Stuka. Yeah, There's a chance, of, definitely a chance of wiping it. Big relief though for the Allies having that Stuka down. They can blob a lot more aside from the Sturm Tiger. Nice timing. Hero Stug. Did something heroic by the looks of it. Vehicles destroyed three. Oi, big yikes. Did you just wreck a heap of Jacksons or something? Or? This is something about this Stug that looks like it did something really well. Yeah. The armored skirts, the vet too. Ah, He lost his special sign on the back, so. Flying off. Disappointing. Additional time. SU being built now. Andres, that's a replacement for the, one, the couple that we saw going down the last engagement. What has this KV2 been doing? Hasn't that been out for a while? I oh, don't know. Oh, just deployed. Thought there was another one of those. Maybe not, but yeah. Well, uh, oh, other Soviet went for one, but yeah, there's a KV2 on the right hand side. It's rolling out now. Good to see. The middle point's going to become more and more important as the VPs yeah. get closer. I'm glad to see it's lower. actually getting contested now. 155 VPs for the access to 11 now for our allies. Allies realizing, hey, we, there are three VPs on this map. Should probably do something about that. It's the regular frag nade, which means a, an easy engagement for the shots. Potentially a wipe, but no, they lose a couple of models and have to keep moving. This gun thinks that's an excellent idea. We'll also back off. What half tracks suppressing the infantry? Yeah, and I see it getting the opportunity to have some use outside of shooting planes down. Really nice suppression. It's good. Just takes a good engagement. Then there's not an MG currently up on the front lines. It's a good move. There's something degrading about just shooting planes. You know, it's just like it's all you do, man. You have one job: is shoot planes. Aww. But I want to suppress blobs. No, shoot planes. No, shoot planes. Okay, that must be the P-47. Yep. I don't know why it's getting pulled down though, but yes. <laughs> oh. Bit yeah. of plane on plane violence there. Yeah, I mean, P-47 gets called in. Uh, uh, okay, in range the BP's of still in the hands of our... It's, it's not covering the BP, so... Oh wow, so much damage. Double vet free ranges. It's nasty. Another wiper there on the vaults. Jackson's now going to be chasing down the Panthers. Uh, KV2 pushing forward as well. This, this is a Stuka actually. KV2 is an excellent time buyer. Wow, a lot of wipes. I think the Allies have too much stuff. Yeah, seems that way. A little big fuel float as well. That's kind of matched by some of the players on the Axis side, so. <laughs> the truck goes down. And this, is, this is how you play with the KV-2. It's just like, hey, I want you to be repairing. Keep repairing. You just keep taking shots. Wow, this is a regular Sherman. Ding, ding, ding. First time we've seen it, the Jackson's also here. Down the goes the command tank. The pa panther is quite low, but there's actually another panther behind it though. Super duper dead. Even the panzer headquarters is getting pretty low. Wow. What? Okay, there it goes, and there's still too many tanks. The tiger's rotating from the left, but it's very late. This other panther's getting very low. Probably gonna see that one go down too. The Jackson's the best thing to focus. Ah, the missed. Sherman, not so important. A little bit late to respond there, so that. Jackson's gonna die. Yeah. Jackson missed his last shot as well, which is unfortunate. So it doesn't claim another Panther victim. Out of control, crash into a house, and VP's ticking uh, in the hands of our allies actually during that engagement, which is good. Yeah, that ended up being pretty even. Would have been much better though if the left side um, for the Axis route headed in faster. Gotta make sure you keep an eye on that. Still, the caddies just murdering everything. This Annie MG is insane. Almost to vet three now. 
You mean so they're now running out the, of squads What can the allies do to try to defend this? So I guess they have, they have a, a KV-2. Yeah. So, like, what else do you even need? KV-2, SU-85. They're in a really good spot to just defend this. Should we take a move for another shot? Maybe another Pershing dead here. The Panther's well set up. They should at least get the stun. Ah, oh, no, it's not firing tanning. just yet. He could get all Triple? three of these tanks. Triple kill. Let's see it. Yeah, he's actually firing. The Jackson gets doesn't get hit, but he gets stunned. Not exactly good enough. Not with an SU-85 firing from the side, but not for long. SU-85 goes down. Some target lives. Will it get dove though? How good's the, re the reverse moving? I have to get past the church. The Jackson's going in for it. Oh, doesn't misses. Get a shot. He went for the Panther instead. Tiger also pushing from the left side, as is the pack. I killed the Pershing. Great One engagement more. so far. PTRS Penal's moving Bounce. to defend. He can use the sticky satchel. That'll that'll stop his advance. Yeah, there's the sticky onto one panther. But the Jackson's going down. There might not be even a follow-up AT, but that panther's going to be real low after the sticky goes off. Tiger survives. And Tiger a full lives. health SU-85 can finish him off. Yeah, I mean, he can go for it, but it's going to it's gonna have a rear Ooh. armor panther on it. And a Faust, and a pack. That panther's oh. too sharp. Did he, did he didn't use prioritized vehicles. He just wasted Shame a shell in the infantry. Display. Yeah, we've definitely seen a lot of that today. These guys not using prioritized vehicles. Two Panthers against a single SU. He needs to move out of range. Yeah, didn't didn't make use of that range advantage. But we actually saw the uh, the AT rounds. So those Panthers having even extra penetration. Double caddy available. Triple over. Loving the build from over. Oh, That's going to yes. work out nicely. So, a lot yeah. of manpower. Booby traps are also quite useful. Both both players really can booby yeah. trap this. Yeah, I'd love to see some booby traps on victory points. It'd be great. Right side BP seems real solid for our for our allies, though it is get, currently getting assaulted. It's the Stug. Not a vetted one, though. Grab the AT gun, my shock friends. There we go. Lovely. In range. Then we get the second one off with this. Not quite a second shot. That's right. Those dudes still low. Let's go back off. Dodges the sticker shot too. Lovely. Wow. Everything so, dies. Th this is where you really want to blow up these guns. Just the Q click. You know. On Why your would tanks. you when your opponents keep recapping them and then yeah. losing those units? So isn't that technically free map? Oh, power the triple overs, yeah. double wipe on these AT guns, nice. Including a shock AT gun, even more manpower. Oh, double, double, yeah, I love this. Double P guns with, with uh, Shreks. Hopefully they're gonna get forced off here. They, they should just stay pinned, and the overs should take the take the kill. Yeah, nice. So the MG's forced to retreat, and the the, the Shreks here to stay on the field. That's really good. This terrain especially is so good for the Shreks. Double Shreks are going to be hard to deal with. with oh, that but careful oh, the KV2 is nice though. Nice grenade dodge actually with those Obers. This KV2 could just wipe these guys very yeah. quickly if they're not careful. Even the Shreks can get wiped pretty quickly. Yeah. Good health damage, that's about it though. Double volley. Shreks are just going to bounce so often against yeah. this KV-2. As, as they vault around corners, that's when the wipes... Whoa! Just the Jackson gets blown up immediately. Uh, he's out of the uh, line of sight now. 136 VPs for our Axis, 132 for our allies. Axis are Whoa, taking the lead. Whoa, mine. I think I was in mine. Yeah. Close quarter conscripts. Uh, uh, this could be Shrek oh, drops. No. This could be Shrek Don't drops. Don't give Shreks to the shocks. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my god. You get something on the cons. Ah, uh, cons? Why go for versatility with, like, you know... I mean, why go for, like, AT grenades and Shreks when you can get a Shock Shrek? That squad is unstoppable. Armored Shreks are the deadliest Shreks. Panzer Headquarters taking some damage. Stug in SU 1v1. Somehow the Stug is winning. Wow, yeah, he caddies the Panzer headquarters. That's nice. 
Oh my god, this took is actually killing him. I know. And he gets fausted too. The, the SU was firing at the Panzer headquarters there for a little moment. So it wasn't exactly a fair fight. Stug dive onto the, uh, the Katushas could be a good play. Or Panzer IV dive onto these Katushas. They are fairly exposed. Now, there could be US mines because he has that commander, but I don't yeah, think there is. Yeah, could be. Yeah. I suppose it's consideration. I think there's just enough freedom of pathing through the middle that you can get a tank in, though. Wow. The middle just hasn't been contested. A Panzer II Lukes. It's a little surprising. Let's see if the Jackson goes down once again to this hero Stug. Oh, no. Oh, he oh, oh, does get it. Yes, sir. The... Martyr still gets the, the Jackson as he gets taken out himself. Nice satchel as well on the command bunker. No more reinforcements on the field. It's good tonight. Uh, left here as well. C85 looking for some damage. C85 might actually flank these Stugs. I don't know if it would be a great plan, but it is a plan. Ah, uh, no, Panthers stop moving and they will uh, force the SU off. Ooh. Attack rounds. Oh, Through! nice. Through the trees. Find a target. Lovely. This Stug was no hero Stug. He was a a noob Stug. The worst kind of Stug. No, the worst kind of Stug is a Stug E, my friend. So. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Okay. VPs are down at about 100 each. Yeah, yeah. Fairly even. Slide could advantage be, to our axis. Could be either man's game at this point. I haven't seen that Storm Tiger in a while. Almost blocked the crew of the Jackson. Is he barraging? Yeah, there's another strafing run being deployed. <laughs> trying to build a, a shoe mine. Nice try, buddy. I don't see this looks doing much. Like, you might as well just get a HMG mm. instead. I guess he's worried about the caddies. Which yeah, is, I, say, yeah. I don't think Panzer II's go down to caddies as easily, so. Yeah. Oh. That's, uh... Wow, they, they really changed the vet requirements on this thing. It used to, like, never vet up at all. Vet 2, armor and durability, jeez. I thought three. you meant they added a second rear gun at, like, vet 3 or something, and that's why the Storm T was going in the wrong way. But Increasing mobility, decreasing it. reload, that's pretty good. Targeting. Z5 do. Reload while moving, okay. Not, not amazing bonuses across the board, but will definitely help. Smoke bombs are being deployed. Whose are they? The Could have been smoke yeah. bombs, yeah. He just wants to spend his munitions. He just doesn't mm. want to be a noob with a thousand munitions. He's like, I don't care if it's actually helping me or yeah, not. Yeah, it should be just smoke bombs wherever it's like semi-useful, so... Now, this is also where you, you've got to start thinking about, is it worth abandoning a VP? So for the right side allies, maybe they should just go for the middle. It seems they're actually doing that right yeah. now. Yeah. They're pulling in all of their tanks to the middle. Might be a better move. Because then they can just completely gangbang one side with, with a whole bunch of Jacksons. So much AT for the, the allies. We're still at 100 VPs as well, so gangbang is an option. Like, we, we could just see a pure commitment from right hand to left hand, and you just take a massive fight. Like, you're down on VPs, but you take a massive fight, and you, you kill enough that, uh, that you can take the central VP and the left hand one and hold it. Whoa. Seems oh, Shreds once again turn the that. tide. Jackson goes down. That Panther's getting absolutely annihilated, but so is the Jackson. Oh. The AP rounds are being Should deployed. Be Panther, the Shreks though. are once again oh, firing. Jackson hits the wrong one. KV-2 isn't successful at deterring these Panzer Grenadiers. Now, the, the focus firing hasn't been good so far. Both Panthers took some damage, but I think it was also because of the good micro by Uvi, because he, he moved the weak Panther back, back. so yeah. that by automatically did the those tanks uh, swap targets. So a really good thing to do that in those tank fights. Almost one-shot the Shrek, so that's what the KV-2 is always able to do, but it looks like the Axis are pushing here. Wow, we... Stunned the Jackson, the Pershing's pretty low. Tiger's going on the hunt here, and there's no anti-tank grenades. Or rather, there is one now from the Rifleman. Jackson's being surrounded by the Panther. A little late to retarget himself. These Jacksons are both so low. The Tiger's also pretty low himself. Heavap rounds haven't been deployed just yet. Packs are advancing. They're a little late to the fight. 
Alice is blowing up the base. Pershing also chasing. Oh my god, yeah, Pershing's a great meat shield. Gonna run into packs though. So they could meet you if you have health. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Pershing goes down. down. Our tank battles points. are all over the place. That Jackson barely survives. Panther's damage engine and by the the conscripts with the Shrek, he can chase that one down forever. And the Stuka gets a deadly oh! blast. Why wow, even the Ambo goes down, gets abandoned. Strafing run gets a couple more models there. Man, that might just be the game there. And the caddies bring it back. The caddies are gonna have to find something real special to bring this back. Oh my god, look at this blob of shots. Yeah, he's gonna have to smoke. Smoke! Someone has to smoke here! <laughs> All these shocks and no smoke. Any oh, AP ammo, jeez. Any, any, any squad can smoke. Okay, there's the smoke. Let's get chained, though. Okay, who's getting chained? Pretty sure that smoke's counting. Well, Looks there's like even. Central BP gets capped. The lieutenant used to smoke at some point. Smoke again? Yeah, surprised no one just naded that, that MG. It's a vet 3. Yeah, it should be the cap. Yeah, it does complete. But still, double cap at the moment for the Axis. Panzer 2 with two kills. He's gonna get one shot by the PTRS ball if they all fire at the same time. Yeah, the Sap Shell goes through anyway, so... Rest in peace! Oh, the Herocons. Dice to the they, MG they did, crew. They ended up chasing the Panzer all the way, so... Eyes have now got to hold the victory point. In the middle, as well as recapturing the left. It's the thing, like, the Single penals, HMG. they all ran past the victory Oop. point. None of them are actually capping it. There's still nothing capping the left. Still nothing capping the left. Just squad oh my God. sitting here. Maybe that's what he's worried about. Well, great flank with an, a new Caps fresh Pershing. BP! It's a sticky satchel, so the Pershing can finish it off. Good retreat as well. Let's it finish. It's a massive turn, but only if our allies can stall this bleed, man. Okay, it's getting decapped, I think. Nope, this is oh, no. an SU-85. That's the wrong unit. Oh, wow, minimum range Sturm Rocket blows up the Pershing. And Vet 5 gun. Sturm Tiger, it's about to fall. Yeah. SU gets it, but now there's a Vet 2 Panther there to take his place. That was a smart play. Wow, he probably just assumed that it hadn't reloaded yet. Yeah. Maybe he was making use of the uh, reload while moving. Or rather, was that Vet 5? I don't remember. SU goes down. Still no capture, as you pointed out. And the right side's actually... The middle's getting captured back by the Axis, so that must be the GG. The KV-2 couldn't stop enough. This wasn't here enough shots. It's like, it is a bit of an RNG machine, <laughs> uh, the KV-2. So sometimes it'll be amazing, and sometimes it'll do like yeah. I did this game, and it like, just didn't do anything, really. One of the many units... In, there's like a whole spreadsheet of RNG machines. Mm. Well, that was a good game, though. Some, yeah, some great tank battles. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to think really why the Axis won. I suppose they just got better battles with like the Shrek follow-ups, yeah. the, the Panther plays. It's kept the veterancy down of the tank destroyers. That was kind of that was pretty major. Yeah. Um, I think it was just our allies completely neglecting the central BP when they had control of the game. Yeah, that's true. They had true. control of the game, but they just neglected the middle. And there was nothing actually on it. I mean, you could have assumed there was an MG, but even if there was an MG, you should have been contesting it. Mm. There should have been some contestion there because there was a there was a period where there were just too many there was too much control over the map because of tank destroyers and unit composition uh, for our axis to do anything about it. And then once our axis got control over the game, they did contest the middle BP, um, and they had it for most of the time anyway, which was good. So I think that was the main thing. Uh, allies could have won if they actually just just sat something on the middle BP and they didn't. So um, yeah, GG though, it was cool. GG, well played. Thanks for watching and. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll be back at some point with more Company of Heroes too. Absolutely. See ya. Thanks, guys.